Okay, let's do it. Here are my thoughts, feelings, and opinions on formula of love. O plus T equals by twice. Now, Twice was always the group to me that does singles really well. They create these really infectious, addictive singles, but I never really, you know, knew them to be a group that makes these kind of full album listening experiences, and that wasn't until they released their 2020 album, Eyes Wide Open. You know, when that album came out, I feel like they really proved that they can make seriously good full-length pop albums. And you know, with their latest album, Formula of Love, I can say that I do like it for a lot of the same reasons as Eyes Wide Open. Um, I think this is another solid modern pop album filled with a lot of fun and memorable moments. Uh, you know, by this point, I think they've really nailed this down to a science. Uh, the line distribution is fantastic on this one. Everybody is very easily identifiable and memorable, and it feels like every member serves a purpose in these songs, and just everything is very structured and organized, and I think, you know, it just it works really well. Um, I think the subdivisions are a great idea on this album. It's definitely nice to hear more from each member. Uh, I think that Scientist is a great low-key banger. It's not, you know, the most addictive or infectious twice song, but, uh, you know, I, I think it's pretty solid in my books. And, uh, you know, I think there's some great B-sides on this album. Cruel, Fall in Love Again, and Moonlight are some of the strongest, in my opinion. Uh, Cactus and Hello sound like the biggest outliers on this album. I'm not really sure if they work in the context of the album. Uh, Hello has a pretty interesting verse chorus transition, how it kind of switches from this very trappy sound that doesn't really work for twice at all to this kind of jazzy juxtaposed chorus which is you know pretty interesting and cool and uh you know uh, it's strange but uh, i i do actually quite like that song and uh cactus however i i don't really think works on this album <laughs> sorry but I think structurally this album does suffer the most, especially when you're trying to listen to the whole thing in full. Uh, I think many of these songs are just a little too similar to one another, that it becomes a little homogenous and, you know, I, I think the outliers seem more like brief distractions rather than elevations, and it doesn't always feel like this album is really pushing forward or growing or, you know, taking off. It always just seems to kind of land right back at the same place that it was, and it doesn't really feel like it takes you on that journey. I don't get a good sense of an arc by the end of the album. It just you know, kind of just keeps going and then it stops and then I hear the feels at the end, which is, you know, cool and it's nice, but uh, I just don't really get a good sense of that full album flow. And I can say that compared to Eyes Wide Open, uh, I feel less motivated to listen to this album in full in a single sitting. And to get to another little nitpicky note, I think that as a girl group, Twice sound a little out of their element on this one. Uh, you know, I think their ambitious nature is one of my favorite things about them as a group, and I like that they take on songs that don't necessarily sound like they were made for a girl group, but I don't think that they bring the kind of vocal power that these songs demand. You know, some of these songs sound like they were made for somebody like IU or Lee High, and I just don't think that Twice can really match that kind of vocal power. However, you know, it does go both ways. There's plenty of things that, you know, those artists can't do that a, a girl group can do, like the line distribution, which I was praising earlier. And, uh, you know, it's a trade-off. I think you still need to have that awareness that you're listening to a girl group. Although they're close to it, you can't just show these songs to someone who's completely unfamiliar with K-pop and expect them to judge it like any other pop song. Although, you know, they're close to that level and that seems to be what they're aspiring for, I think you still need to, you know, have some sort of awareness that you're listening to a K-pop girl group. 
But, you know, with all of that behind us, I think overall this is another solid one, and, you know, given the year that Twice has had, I'm legitimately impressed that this album exists at all. Um, I wasn't expecting another full length so soon, and it definitely does still meet their high standard of quality. If anything, this has only reaffirmed my opinion that they are the hardest working pop group in the world right now, and I give it a 7.6 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.